Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you this uh, pattern you see here. I'll just do a demonstration of one of those because it's a repetition. You can do the rest yourself. So we will do uh, from chain then starting the stitch to this pattern today. I have another video that I've shown how I've done this. These are simple actually. You can just design something on a piece of paper and just count your stitches. But if you follow that, you end up with the pattern I've already done. You come up with something like that. All right. This is, uh, I'm inspired by Tunisian crochet. And it's my new uh, things that I'm making. I'm making myself a little bag. And this is a pocket bit. I've decided to leave that. When, it started, when I was crocheting here and it started curling up, I thought, I want to keep that as that. So this will be one side of the bag. And now I'm doing the other side of the bag. All right. Inside it looks like that. Now to start with, I'll do a few chains. So I'll do 26 chains. I normally just do 12 like that. And I'll use this. And then I'll do 26 chains. So one will be this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, then I'll add one more. Now, I need to start the Tunisian crochet on there. Now, because my stitch is uh, small, it's worth having another crochet hook that's uh, slightly smaller or thinner to help you hook the uh, stitches back on there. So I'll be back in a minute. So what I do is then I will come with this smaller this other crochet, I'll leave that so it doesn't, uh, I don't lose my stitches. But in the second chain, not the one we added, but the second chain, I'll then hook out. But I'm doing the, the base of the chain, so I turn my chain. This is the chain side where you can see it. And on the other side, you have a loop like that. So you just come and hook out. So I will do this all the way to the end. Just like that. Make sure it's not snagging because sometimes when you put even that smaller, by using a smaller one, it's because I don't want it to snag, but it still it does snag. And also you don't want it to loose. That's why I changed uh, the needle using the smaller needle here. Just on this, just doing this. It's just, just so I can grab the stitches easily. So you keep doing that to the end. So now doing the last one, I'll do that. So now you see I've got all my stitches there with the one that came out here. So with what with that, I do that. Then I will take all these other stitches onto the bigger hoop. I won't use the smaller one because I don't want my stitches to be uh, too tiny, too thin. Because the gauge has to be the same. So you have to go back to the original hook that you're using to hook all your stitches on. The reason I use the thinner one is just to make life easier for me. So all I'm doing is putting it underneath there and hooking that to that. But that was just to help me uh, do the stitches uh, a bit faster. Or it would have been fiddly. Me trying to use the bigger head of the... Uh, crochet hook to put through the chain in order to get my stitches. So once I've done that, I will start the uh, Tunisia crochet, which you yarn over like that, and then you hook only the first two, like so. Then I will do the second one, then third one, then I'll keep going until I get to the end, then I will, sh I will demonstrate to you what I'm going to do next when I get to here. 
So now go to the end, I will do the second row. So second row will be hooking on this side there. So when you look at your uh, pattern, you've been left with that. So I will hook on the first one here. Not where the chain is, because there's another one, but the second one there. Then I will hook out like that. Then I'll find the next one, which is here. I'll just stretch it so you see where I'm getting them there. So everywhere where the, the road attaches to the chain, there's a little strand of wool there. I'll just use the other crochet hook to show you. There's one here. And this one here, so that's where I'll be crocheting in those ones. Okay, so I'll do a few more with you, then I'll get to the end and then show you what I do. So, there, so I'll carry on doing that to the end, and this is what you'll be getting, you'll be starting to look like that. So, on the last one. I will do that one there, but you can see now I'm not quite on the end. If I turn right back here, I'll end up with this hanging out, so it won't be a straight edge. So I need to go in that one, but I do not go in there on one loop. In fact, I will take the front loop, and I don't know where you get it. You can see where they, there's a gap there, it gives me the back loop which is there. So I'll push that as well onto my needle. So you end up with two loops there then we do those together like so at the beginning will be uh, very fiddly but once I've done two three rows you'll be fine so there we go we're going in that loop now we take we crochet backwards just like we do we did in the previous row you take two yarn over you take two yarn over you take two yarn over you take two, you and over, take two, you and over, take two, you and over, take two, and I'll go all the way here and do I'll do one more, then come back. Then on the third row, I'll show you what I am going to do next. So now I've done my three rows, and I need to then do a second uh four I've done three rows, fourth row now. So I'll take this will count as a stitch. So I'll take one more in brown and another one. No, just take two two in brown. Then I'll change color to my gold. Because that's what I am using in this one. So with my gold, I'll put a loop like so. Then I will hook on, on here, then take the gold out, like so. So one, two, then the third one is gold. Actually, I'll do it the opposite, I'll do it from this end. So I need to crochet all the way to... I'll leave, I'll leave 12 on the back here. One, two, because I want my flower to be here, so this will be the center because of that. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What I'm counting is these strands, these little lines, so 12 of those. So I need to stop there. Now at the moment, I'll put that there just to hold on so I know where to go. So I'll do brown again. Up to there, so like so. So that give me five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen and sixteen. Then I'll just make sure I still have twelve there. So it's two, the edge one, and that one two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve here. So I need to do one more in front of where I put the marker. I just use the same wool as a marker because it will go in there. Then once I've done that, I'll take that out because I want to hook that on here. So I will hook it like so. So now I've got my golden wool attached. Now I will do the 10 stitches in gold. So I'll pull this so it's tight. At the moment I'll take that in gold then I'll put this one in front the gold, the gold not the brown I'll leave the brown there so we take into the brown but I I, I will hook the brown the orange like that because I want the yellow I want to hide it so I'm weaving it along so now bring it in front this time I'll do it from the top like that so it's underneath then the next one it means I'll bring the short strand over the top like so I'll bring the top my crochet will have to be in the front of it like so because that way I'm pinning it down. Okay. Except I don't want it to be showing here. It has to be like that. So between the this and that. Then I will do again from behind here. I'll hide it that way. Like that so I have one two three four five no, I didn't have done twice there five six sorry because I shouldn't go in this one I should go in the next one seven eight just count again two four six eight so i need to do two more so this one one then this will becomes in between the hook and the wool that i'm using then i'll put it there now and do my last one Oh, I've done my last, I think, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, I've done my last. So now I will go back by taking those two, like so. I don't finish the two stitches here, okay, this time. There's a reason for that. So you just do that, and then you go back. like so like so now i've got to there i will use my brown to take to carry to carry on this way so my brown doesn't go all the way it turns there for some reason i've ended up with a knot this happens, but if you feed around with it, you should be able to pull it out. Okay. 
come back. So I keep going back with the brown to the end. Then from here, I will go back doing what we did earlier. until I get to the top of the gold. At this stage, I will take my brown all the way down That one is always is going to be fiddly every time you come back because it's like a locking stitch previously. Now make sure you pull that when you get to the gold. Then I will take the loop in front of that gold I've pulled. I'll just make sure the gold go behind. Then I will I will do brown over the gold. Like so. All the way but two stitches so I'll leave these two stitches there, there's two there yeah so we'll take this one so you leave those two now I will go back Always take two at a time. Now when I get to here, I'll still go one more and two more. So I've taken two more of the brown, but then I keep going to the end because we need to finish this row. To the end, like I said. Then we do the same again, like we did previously. We're just we're just hooking onto the loops. And when we get to here, you can see we got two of the browns. So we'll stop here. And the next two before the gold, which is this one and that one, we'll hook it with the gold. So we use the gold. At this point, I've locked up my brown, but I'll leave it there now. And I will carry on with the gold. So you can see we've added two more here. We are in front of that. So that's what I'll do on this row. Then I will carry on along here on the brown. And you'll be forming the pattern like that. That's our brown row. And the gold 
if you if it's difficult to do that you use a small hook like i showed in the chain to lift it up because that will avoid little threads tagging or fraying showing as we know it's damaged so there i've got my two brown there i'll leave these two brown so i'll end here with gold which means on here i did 10 gold here i've done only two four six eight even though i've gone two forward i'm leaving two more all right so we do one two three four five six seven hooking out then i'll take the brown and hook brown tighten the with the gold and just pull it a little bit to make it tight there then i will finish off this side like so now i will repeat what i did previously before i did this row so every alternate row is the same at this stage but the gold stitches become lesser and more protruding on the brown just need more wool just a new ball of wool sometimes it becomes tight to pull out so I just made it loose So I'll carry on with the brown onto the top of the gold, like so. So two, you remember we did seven, two, three, four, five, six. There was eight stitches, but we pulled out seven times because we pulled these together. So now we are there. There's two gold here, two strands of gold. We'll leave those and we'll pull out here two, 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 two. And I will go all the way to the end. So there, then I'll repeat what I did previously on the row below when we're going forward. Just take your time. Just make sure you're happy with the stitches. Keep going. Then when I get to here, I'll leave two. So there's the gold, there's brown, and the, there's brown roll. Two rolls of brown. So I've crocheted this one. There's this one and this one. I'll leave those for gold. So I'll bring my gold. And I will on the brown because I want my row to extend in gold here. So it'll be two stitches forward. Like so. And like that. My brown. I'll make sure it stays there so it's not in the way. Then I'll carry on with gold. If you're struggling, remember, 
you can have a smaller second hook to do that. Okay, so you could do that. You could do it fast actually. You do that, and then if you push your hook like that, a smaller hook, you could then hook those in like that. So you could use that technique because sometimes it can be tight. Because the tighter the stitches, the better because you want them uniform, you don't want them too loose. Then we take the two gold, two gold, two gold, two gold, and we finish there. But we take the brown here. And I'll pull the gold. But carry on with the brown. Going back to the beginning of our row so we can do another row. So we're ending up with a nice perfect edge and there we have also a little perfect edge but that's how it's supposed to be for the time being. So we do like we did before. Going back so we can add another row of gold. We have to remember to leave two stitches in brown. So this is the last one. Now I will bring my gold and hook on this first hook. Then, oh no, I don't do that actually. I need to carry on because I need to, to cover the brown on the gold. I must always remember that. It's easily done. You get carried away. You get here. And you want to go to the gold. But we must do the brown over the top. So we're separating the colors. So I'll put that gold there. And then put the brown. And brown. So we're now doing the brown on gold, we need to leave two stitches. So like there. So we take two more out, two out, two out. The gold only come when we get to here. So now we continue with the brown to the end. Like so. But I take the brown on the loop. Going back to add our gold. We keep going. And we must leave. Oh, I've taken one more. Too much. I should have left that because there's two loops there for brown, which we will change into gold. So this time we'll stop there because we need to leave two loops. Then gold out one, two, and three. Then we take with the brown all the way back and we keep going to the edge. like so then we do another row going back like so again at this point because we need to do these two plus two more so 
So that would be one, two, three, one, two, three. This is our fourth. So we do our fifth, which will be two browns. These two stitches here. The other one is there. That's the fiddly bit because it locks with the gold. So I'll use another hook just to pick that stitch out. There. Like so. And then I use my normal hook and hook out. Oh no, I'm rushing again. We need the brown to go over the gold, otherwise the gold clash. So this should be brown. It closes so quickly when you let go. But that's good because it means our wick is not gonna go it's not going to have gaps. Then we just do two here. Then you do two, 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 two. We go back. Oops. I'll always take two at a time. Like so. Now we need to do one last thing. This one. Before we take the gold. Uh, the brown. And change the way the gold is put in. So at this point, because we only go got uh, two brown there, the gold needs to start here. All right. And what I will do is start the gold on here. On here so I'll leave four so I'll start it further here so we want it on four places one two three four okay so it gives us a longer piece there but now i will take this one two three four this is five that's branch 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 leaving two there i'll take the Sorry, with gold. Out. Out. Actually, I should have taken two, not four. Because it would be too long then, what I want to do here. So, sorry about that. Taking that all out just to there. So, I should take it from here to be gold. Those two. Right, so there's four here, then we're down to two. Then we take these out, like so. Yeah. And now we do the brown. Then we do again this brown. Do that. But add the gold. And next one. And next one. 
and next one this one is fiddly one because that's one we hook two together then we go back and here we'll go for the brown so i'll need to hook again here so i'll hook that and put it on my hook then there's a smaller here brown as well then i will hook here so i'm collecting all the stitches that we were coming back turning out so here the brown the brown so remember we're leaving two brown two gold two brown two gold and that's what i'm picking up It's definitely faster if you use another hook because then you're not messing about fiddling trying to get the big hook onto the small stitches so this way is handy but if you don't have another crochet hook just use the same one it just takes you a little bit longer And you might just sort of lean to sort of make your stitches uh, loose. Or you can find another tool that you can just lift those with. Like that. Like that. Now this time. We are near the end where we started, where we left also two brown stitches. Now I will take those brown stitches. So it's that one. And this one. So on the end here, I normally take two like that. So you have nice edging. So there. Now we go back with gold, two at a time. So you can see we are forming the part and now it's beginning to look like something. So we are halfway to what we want to achieve. So here I will do one and two. Remember, we did these two separate. So now I will show you the, all the, the other part. We've done half of that. So we will be doing this side. So we've done the below. Now we're doing the other side. So now we change, we go, we carry on going here, we finish this gold, but we do the brown on the very end. We'll just make sure that's tight and close it up. So now we repeat what we always do when we are going this direction like that this time i'm going to advance so instead of turning or bringing the gold to my brown i'll be bringing the brown to the gold so here i'll take one gold am i right there Need to do this stitch it's easy to forget that so we do one more so make sure when you get here to look at the stitches because i nearly 
missed that one because he was buried. So I've had to do that one. Then I will I will now crochet the two bars on the gold in brown. Like so. Then I will do the gold. And I'll go back first. Before I do that. I will do brown again. Up to here. What do the gold? There. Then bring the brown forward to take out you don't need to complete that gold, it's not completed. So Complete the gold. Then we'll take the brown. Just make sure tight in there. So now the, the brown will be encro encroaching on the gold. Or go to be extending downwards. So that now there's a stitch here we mustn't bury. It is important we take that out. Then I will do the gold. And the gold is a bit fiddly, but that must be hooped. Oh, no, is this one not the tie? Is it the tight one? one two. Yes, it is the tight one. I was right first time. Don't want to leave any threads left behind, like that. Now I will encroach on the gold. So I'll go two more. So we're taking two. We add two more of the brown there. Then we will go back. It's just the reverse of what we've done. The opposite of what we've done to the other side. But it does throw me every time I do this pattern. So I have to hence the taking off and doing again. But once you get to, to do three, four more projects, you should be used to it. And if you make a mistake, you'll be easier to pick it out. So now I will use the smaller hook to do that and that. But then hook that there. I 
actually I've made a mistake this should be gold because it's opposite of that so these two stitches becomes gold so instead of hooking with brown I should have hooked with gold because I need to be up a little bit because it needs to match this side so it's in the same line as that okay so this one becomes a gold and this one also becomes a gold so we got four so we started with two 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 here but this is four because it was four here and then here it will be the same amount like here okay so we bring the brown now forward Oh, I've hooked gold. I need to go back with gold to here, but use brown to go back. Then coming back, I'll go over the gold. So now do the brown again. So the brown stitches are now getting, we're getting more and more because every time they're increasing as we are going backwards on the gold. So now this brown has to go into the gold two more steps. So it will go over here, it will go in the next loop, it will go on this one, it will go on this one, one, two, three, four. Now it goes on this one as well. Smaller loop. So you go to three there, just like here and here. Then we'll do two more here on this stem. Actually, that will be brown, not gold be brown and this one brown and the next one this one is brown because you can tell because we had brown here so this is golden and brown brown like that then I'll take brown down this So now we go in here, going back, Keep going. We go there. This gold is in line with that. This one, this one. 
there's a second on that bit then we go to this one then there's the loops are looking small so just be careful but you know you're going brown on brown here and there's another loop there and i think the last one i will need to enlarge it to do that actually i should have changed one two that's brown that's brown that's brown that's brown that's brown so they should be gold yes those four should be gold so always look to this side because we are doing this is a mirror image of that one this one should be a mirror image so these four should be gold to mirror image these i was getting carried away again so we do gold a gold a gold a gold And this gold, we add two more gold. So one, two, three, four. Then we do a gold on the stem. A gold on the stem. Because this one here will be brown. So I'll go back with this gold. But we have to take brown first before we go to the brown where it touches the stem. loop there and I'll make sure this is tight then this one has to go on the first gold then the second gold then the fourth gold the fifth gold then we go part of the thickness of the stem there and another one in there then we go twice on the stem one the thinner part here to balance it there another brown so now we hook out two, out two, out two, out two, out two, out two. Now while we are here, we could just talk about that. So now when I start next one to do the gold, I have to think of here. So I'll follow that loop, 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 loop. So if you are somebody who want to mark, you could mark that. This is where we will start with the gold. So there'll be two golds left and then you do on the third one going that way. That is if you want to mark it, you can mark it there.
So now we go back one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen, so one gold. I'm counting this one and two to there. Now our gold has to start on here to match this side. So it's this one. So we do gold there. One. I'll use a smaller hook. This is faster. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So, two. Three. Four. Five, six. So I've done on this ten. Then I'll call because this one is this one correspond with that one. So we need to go further down and go to that. Then I will I will go back because I'm leaving this one for brown next time we come back. So we take this out. Then we take the brown to finish off the roll. Okay, so now we're here, we go back, so we can do another color of gold, the gold roll, another gold roll of our pattern. a small hook you won't have it with them then I'll do this gold as well this gold I'll hook this first so you can see now we are along here that which means this when we get back it has to be gold but we need to go with brown all the way here first one two three that's a smaller four Five, this one, six, because we don't want to miss any stitch. Just redo that. Six, 
then two more on this stem seven eight so by doing this eight we have remember when we did this side we had eight one two three four five six seven eight which means this goes down eight to give us because it's going on the eight gold which is one two three four five six seven eight but it goes on the stem which had is a lucky 10 adds to the 10 stitches so we go back and here then we just need to do one more row going back once more so again here you can see that this one corresponds that one so we need to get to here and if you follow that it's there where we are here now okay so we change that to gold this one so it's all going on the ground I'm using a small hook again just to hook those And we go to this stem one and two so that we're matching with that because so, this this roll is the same as this one so now I will hook my gold to the bigger needle because I don't want to use a smaller hook because you make the stitches even tighter I'll just use that to hook easy so it's fast for me so you can see it's coming up then we take two out two out two out two out two out to where the gold ends then we hook this, then we do the bra to hook the gold and the bra. Just tightening the gold. Two out, two out, two out, two out.
all the way to the end. Now we go back so that our leaf is complete. So we go on. Until we get to the end. And we just have to get that one as well. Because it's a small one. And then we do we do the gold over the gold this time because this is my last gold on this leaf i go all the way onto the gold and remember we done 10 stitches and this will be 10 plus the end ones, which is one. And the last one, which I normally take here and the other side of the loop, it just makes the bag stronger or the aging stronger. So now we go back So there we, we have it. That's our leaf. Now, as you can see, I have three rows here before I started this. So I'll do two more rows here. Then I should be finished with that. Then I can start another one. So just like in the original that I've done already, this piece, I started with three rows here. Then I did this. Then there's three rows in between. Then another one three rows in between another one and that's how I'm going to do the other side except the other side I want these to be all the way around so I'll probably have a, a one two seven of these three more here maybe two yeah, maybe two more here I think so the other side might have five of the uh, six of these yeah so if you like that follow me on my channel then you can learn a few more tricks on how to crochet i always say you can't get enough of crochet there's so many 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 things to learn in crochet so bye for now but i'll carry on and finish uh, my flowers here then i'll show you the finished product in my video at the end. Bye now.